subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi! Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, Tutorial and Preparatory Guide. Let's see, how you can start preparing for the exam. The Microsoft Security Operations Analyst Certificate Examination assesses your ability to do technical activities, such as defending against threats with Microsoft 365 Defender, defending against threats with Azure Defender, and defending against threats with Azure Sentinel. As an Operations Analyst, you will be working on the organization's information security, and ensure that the overall goal is achieved. Skills Acquired First, as a Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, you will be required to perform threat management, monitoring, and response by using a variety of security solutions across their environment. Second, the role primarily investigates, responds to, and hunts for threats using Microsoft Azure Sentinel, Azure Defender, Microsoft 365 Defender, and third-party security products. Exam Overview The Microsoft Security Operations Analyst Examination Exam Fee is $165. US there will be 40 to 60 questions, and the exam is available in the English language only. The passing mark for the exam is 700 on a scale of 1 to 1000. While exam format is multiple choice, and multiple response questions. Exam Registration 1. You can book your examination with Pearson VUE. 2. Click on Schedule Your Exam on the official Microsoft page. 3. Log in in your Microsoft account using your email id. If you haven't created an account on Microsoft, you are required to sign up first before login in. Also, select the examination by entering the exam code SC200 or the examination name, that is Microsoft Security Operations Analyst. 4. Follow the instructions given on the site, and select the available date and time slot, and make the payment. Exam Retake Policy If the candidate failed to achieve the passing score, then he or she has to wait for 24 hours before reapplying to the examination. The candidate can go to their certificate dashboard, and reschedule the exam themselves. The candidate can reappear for the examination only 5 times. Failure in the second attempt will result in a waiting time of 14 days, before rescheduling your third attempt. The waiting period for the fourth, and the fifth attempts will also be 14 days. Exam Cancellation Policy Microsoft offers candidates to cancel or reschedule their exams, within a minimum of 24 hours prior to the exam date. However, to prevent any cancellation fee, you must cancel or reschedule your exam, at least 6 business days prior to the date scheduled for your exam. Also, if you fail to appear in the exam, then you will not receive any refund of the exam fee. Recertification Policy Microsoft certification is expected to expire when the products are out of mainstream support, although the person's certification will be recognized. Officially, the certification will never expire. Course Outline 1. Mitigate threats using Microsoft 365 Defender, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. 2. Mitigate threats using Azure Defender, which comprises of 25-30% to weightage in exam. 3. Mitigate threats using Azure Sentinel, which comprises of 40-45% to weightage in exam. Now let's discuss about Preparatory Guide. 1. Instructor-led training. Microsoft offers instructor-led training, for the SC200 examination. It is a four-day training. The instructor-led training is an important resource in order to get a better, and deep understanding of the examination. 2. Microsoft Books. While preparing for the exam, Microsoft provides reference books that can be useful. These books provide a variety of important resources, that can be used in the classroom. Visit Microsoft Press Books to locate relevant books, that will help you have a better understanding of the exam objectives and, as a result pass the exam and achieve your certification. 3. Join Microsoft Community. A robust debate is always useful, regardless of where it takes place. When a large number of people get involved in a problem, the chances of finding a solution grow dramatically. The research gets more extensive, as a result of these conversations. Forums are excellent for forming a community that is necessary for understanding others. 4. Practice test papers. The final stage to success, is to put what you've learned into practice. Using a practice exam to diversify your study method, and achieve the best possible outcomes on the real thing is a terrific approach, to achieve the best possible results.